You know when you try your hardest to get the right setup? Well, that's pretty much this video. Welcome back to another episode of All Things Modded. Today we're going to be looking at a Samsung laptop that was built in 2010. And so this was given to me by a friend for free. And it's got two problems. It uh, has a BIOS password and it also has a unknown password um, for the operating system. So in this episode, we're gonna be wiping that BIOS password and then reinstalling a new OS. And then we're gonna be fixing up the shell. So stay tuned in for more. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this computer on. I already know that there's a BIOS password set. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna get past the BIOS. So I'm just gonna click an incorrect password three times. All right, so now I'm gonna use this code and I'm going to search it up on the um, database and see if it pops through. Chances are it will though. And as we can see, I already got something registering. My computer is a Samsung, so that's already uh, <laughs> a good sign. So we're gonna try that password, Gabe698. So now we see that there is a password for Windows 7, and there are two ways of going about this. One is to reinstall the OS, and you will still have all the other, uh, um, everything that was on the hard drive you'll still have, just in a separate folder. Or one is to try and crack it, but uh, that's really only if you are trying to get into more uh, personal information, which I'm not trying to. I just need to get the major um, files, put them on a flash drive, and send it back to my friend. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to shut the computer off, wipe the BIOS password at startup, and then I'm going to install Windows 7 again.
great success. We have officially gotten it all set up. Windows 7 is all uh, set up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, install Windows 7 with our hacker skills. So I already have the Windows 7 crack on here. So I'm just going to quickly plug in that drive right there. So my camera just decided to cut off, but the last thing we need to do is set up the video settings. And there we have it, we have officially set up Windows 7 and got past both passwords. Now, later on, we're going to extract all the files. I won't be showing you guys that, and I'll be putting it onto a USB. But now we're gonna be getting down to detailing the computer and removing it of all the dirt and grime to its body now that we know that uh, we have everything all set up. So, let's get into it. All right, so as you guys can see, there is a lot of dirt and grime on it. Um, there's something really sticky there. I don't know what that is. Um, and there's a lot of tiny little scratches on there. So we're gonna buff that out with some Windex. And for that sticky stuff, we're gonna be using some of this sticker removal. And as you can see on the inside, there is a huge amount of that residue and uh, a lot of dust and there's also one scratch on the screen that I'm not going to be able to remove um, that's not a scratch that's actually hair <laughs> there's a tiny scratch somewhere that you can kind of see when it's on but yeah we're going to get into detailing this computer now So as you can see, all the smudge marks are gone, but now we need to put a clear coat of wax on there. So I'm gonna be using this stuff. It's called Turtle Wax. Like I said, it's for cars. It's not for polishing plastics, but it will make a nice shiny coat for now. Later on, we can fix it up and fill in all those. So it's beginning to look a little bit better. I'm just gonna apply a couple more coats. It's really beginning to smell like a freshly cleaned car in here.
And there we go. That's as good as it's going to get for now. Um, until we get that plastic uh, coating that we can get on it. Or that glossy finish. That's as clean as that is going to get. But for now, I'm actually quite pleased with that. Now we just need to get the inside of this. So for this, I'm also using some uh, turtle wax here except this is for label and stickers so I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit and let that sit So as you can see, this is the final product, and you can barely see any of the scratches, and it looks nice and shiny. And the perks of using stuff like Turtle Wax is you also get that new car smell. So that is it for this video. We have successfully installed a new OS, got rid of that BIOS password, and cleaned up the system. So if you guys enjoyed this video, um, be sure to drop a like and stay tuned in for the next video.